All right, we're going live, folks. This is Ann Sade, creator and founder of the e-commerce business school. I always like to kick off the call just a couple minutes early, and that is to make sure the electrons hook up. So we're going to start very promptly at the top of the hour. But in the meantime, you know, what are you drinking for your favorite beverage of choice? I've got my water. My husband is super, super adamant about drinking lots of water. Half your body weight in ounces, that's the formula. Hey, so I thought I'd add in a little bit of pre-show fun for all you guys. And um, readers are leaders, or, hold on. Leaders are readers. <laughs> leaders are readers. So I'm constantly reading books as I look to my right. I've got three books that I'm consuming simultaneously. I've got another book off to my left because there's no end to developing yourself as an entrepreneur. So um, this is my, my latest. Oh, this was a gift. And then I just got another one this morning, a gift both from my staff. Yeah. And then what we do as a staff here at the e-commerce business school is we study these books together. Now, this one was actually sent to me by a student of mine when I first opened up my highest level mentorship group, which was six years ago. Her name is Dr. Josie Shepard. And so she came into my high level mentorship group at that time where I was teaching people how to build sales funnels and the like. And um, she subsequently went on to learn about e-commerce, Amazon specifically. And now Dr. Josie has three fully automated businesses. And so this book was gifted to me by Dr. Josie and my staff is gonna go through that book together. Yeah, well, let's just see what it's about. Design your business to run itself. Hmm, you guys let me know if that interests you. So anyways, I'm always gonna do that as part of starting my tour is I'm gonna talk about a book that I happen to be currently reading. So this one, I'm already, I read it from it this morning. I read through it last night on page 54. Boom, okay. So uh, what we're gonna do is get together and I'm gonna share with you about the Commerce Business School, uh, give you a tour. But what I need to do is acknowledge folks who have shown up for today's call. So, it's just I'm refreshing my page over on my other monitor so I can see who's written in and commented so I can say hi to you folks. And I can only comment to you if you happen to be on the actual e-commerce business school page. So I don't see any comments yet. Yet that is okay. So what we're going to do is I want to give you a little overview of the e-commerce business school, including the um, foundation. How did this thing ever get started anyways, right? People always like to know that, or I do anyways, when husband and I are out and about and we're meeting uh, business owners, I get so curious about the backstory. What's the backstory on that? Notice, by the way, I'm gonna train you all to be marketers, by the way, when you buy a product, think about this, especially those of you who are building your print on demand stores, your own e-commerce stores, I want you to think about this, and I want you to watch for the packaging of products. Now, I notice it like when I'm eating, I like to read. Uh, it's just how I grew up. I was always reading during uh, both breakfast and lunch is I would just read because I want to, I mean, I don't want to just eat. I got to be learning at the same time. I rank learning as my top strength out of the book Strength Finder, but anyways, um, let me just share my screen because we're going to go through some material together here. Okay. Um, I lost my train of thought on that. Not the books. I, I forget. Anyways, we're going to get straight to the campus tour. So here we are. And I just want to make sure I'm able to interact with you guys. I'm trying to bring up my page over here because I think one of the worst things would be to ignore people and be rude, right? Okay. That was not the page I wanted to bring up. I wanted to bring up my other browser. There we go. Okay, now I'm on the right place. Well, let's get cruising together here. So again, it's to give you an overview of the e-commerce business school campus, along with your career options. Now we're a virtual campus, but we also have live events. 
So that's kind of like an extension of our campus. When we go from anywhere from San Diego to Bloomington to Dallas to Florida, et cetera. So we have everything here from startup courses to sourcing trips to China. So here is the backstory. Now I remember my thought. So when I sit down to eat and I'm reading, I look at the packages, the packaging of a food product. I think about it. Think about it. The packaging is designed to sell you to pick it off the shelf, isn't it? So you're now in the retail space and you better get really tuned into packaging. But all to say, so often that packaging, you know what it has in the back of the package, of the box or the plastic bag or whatever? Take a guess. Take a guess, come on. Put on your marketing thinking caps. They have the backstory of the product. Oh, and my, 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 when it's a family business, which is what they'll often shine a spotlight on, especially if that happens to be a fact of that particular food product, then they're gonna showcase the backstory of that family. All right, so put that in your hat and remember that when you start doing your, the marketing of your own products, right? So this is the backstory of e-commerce business school. You see pictures of two families. On the right, those are my parents. They're both educators, they're both teachers. My mom was Title I of our school district. Title I is a division within the school district. And then my dad was a university professor. Ta-da! Does it make sense why I would have the e-commerce business school? There you see my family. What's the history there? We've run multiple family businesses. I homeschooled my boys for 12 years. And yes, that's right. All three have worked in my business. The middle son there, he was my business partner for 12 years. So I'm really, really big about family businesses. Hear me loud and clear on that. Um, this is my son's first online business, my eldest son, Isaiah. And then the middle son there in the black is Robert. And he said, mom, I'm gonna start a business and I'm gonna do it with Rob. Fine. This is during the homeschooling in high school. So I put together the whole business, everything they were doing. Uh, Robert was very young at that time. I think he was in seventh grade and he was the shipping manager shipping manager in seventh or eighth grade, thereabouts. And then my eldest son would harp at me and say, mom, mom, we need to get a five-star review. Rob needs to go to the shipping, get to the post office ASAP, mom, we gotta get this shipped out. Whew, all of a sudden I had a new boss in the house. <laughs> so they were rocking it out, selling memorabilia swords on eBay. eBay had just opened up. So we were early adapters, yes, indeed and the old inventory of their swords fill our basement walls. There's one of them that's a true samurai sword and it is sharp. Okay, so my eldest son and I became business partner for 12 plus years. That was our very first year when we went to, we sold 2.5 million a year of our very first ebook. So there we were out enjoying um, Southern California. So like I said, all three of my sons have worked in my business. I know what it's like to run a family business. If that's a dream that you have, I think I'm kind of the champion of that cause. These two boys, when they were little wee ones, you know what they did? They helped bag my little Avon catalogs and we'd go out in the neighborhood together and they would hang them on the doorknobs. They grew up in a business culture, a business family, a business mindset, because heck, I'm not just gonna you know, wait on my kids' hands and foot. No, 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 no. We're a family economy. When we own rental property, yeah, they were shoveling and they were mowing the lawn and they were coming to help paint and all that fun stuff, don't you know? So there's my son, Robert. He lives in China. He has now two businesses in China. He's got a business um, license from China and uh, he's a sourcing agent and he's worked for us here through the e-commerce business school and authored that book. All right, pretty cool, right? So we do sourcing from China and that's my son, David, who does filming at our events and helps in customer care. You probably interface with him if you sent any emails in. Is that awesome or what guys and gals? All righty. Uh, this is a photo from one of our, that was our first trip to China in 2015, 2016, I'm losing track here. Amazing, mind-blowing experience. That's all I got to say, just going to China. 
All right, so my eldest son and I, together we dominated what has been called the attraction marketing space. Some folks call me the godmother of attraction marketing because I blew up that industry. I mean, it's just, I exploded that, that industry. That's, that was mine, right? Those three books generating their, um, not just the books, but total sales of $20 million in online sales, primarily through digital marketing but we have physical products as, as well. And then I transitioned into the e-commerce space in 2013. And the rapid success of our students was so impressive, we've never looked back since. It is a superior form of business is e-commerce. And best of all, all the online marketing training that we have been teaching people, it's become as relevant as ever. So there is a photo when we rolled out the new e-commerce business school brand, which was April of 2016. That's my husband, Brian. That's my eldest son, Isaiah. There we have a cake to celebrate. So we are a 12 year old established training and mentorship community. We didn't just pop up overnight. You've heard of the term pop up gurus. They went and studied someone else's course and I'll just copy that guy. And then, yeah, now I'm a pop up guru. No. Scratch, that's not who we are. We're a mentorship community. We're not a, this little throw off one product hit wonder. We are very thorough. And our mission is to help a thousand people make $10,000 a month through my helping team community. All right, so just wanna make sure I'm noting if any questions have rolled in. I don't wanna ignore you guys. Just make sure, okay. I'm trucking along here, cause I gotta keep time. Uh, so $120,000 in income per year. Yes. Yes, you can do this in e-commerce. All right, let's dive in and I want to show you some of our event pictures. And I do this because um, it's important people know just how extensive what we do is. All righty, so let me slide this over. Ta-da, there we are. All right, we have two different Smug Mug accounts filled with thousands and thousands of photos from our events that we've been doing over the last six years. This is really our finest of our training is to come to one of our live events, be face to face. It is the superior form of learning. Let's not kid ourselves. We're human beings. We want to talk to people and interact and, and make it like this interplay of exchange of information and understanding that while we have probably I feel the best training in our back office than anything else online for e-commerce. That's a big brag. It's because of how detailed it is and how mindful and thoughtful we are for our members um, through our training. We have worksheets and checkoff lists and process. And it's just absolutely beautiful, but it really becomes actualized by coming to our events. So this is the trifecta where we teach the three arbitrage methods local retail arbitrage, book flipping, and online arbitrage. And the cool thing is we have another trifecta coming up and the tickets go live actually tonight for a very small group of people. Those who are in their side hustle, you get to claim your free ticket. So if you're in the side hustle, I have already given you a link to sign up for tonight. But everybody else, you come on Sunday night and we're going to share with you the details of our upcoming trifecta, okay? It's spectacular, it really is. See this man here, Tim Coyle? He came through Shop Your Way to Wealth. He's now a certified trainer. He did fantastic training at the trifecta. He's now a wholesale sourcing expert. But this is Tim Coyle, now one of our certified trainers who grew up through the ranks of the e-commerce business school. That speaks to having the career path. Okay, so I'm gonna keep moving along. Okay, now we're gonna get into some business training. You guys all wanna get some business education, right? That's why I gave you a little sharing books that I'm reading right now, business education, right? So here's the progression of most of our students, most, not all, let's go through it. So this is a little metaphor of a car needing fuel. A business needs fuel. See the metaphor and how they overlap. We call this a simple double engine cash flow and asset growth strategy. So as you know, traditional is putting gas in the tank, but now there's these battery run cars, right? There's these advancements. We're talking about a little duo system here. Where do they get their juice? 
Here's what you can do as a strategy. Make no mistake, business is always about a strategy. You may not realize it, but it's a, there's methods, there's tactics and all that kind of stuff. But strategy is like how you run your whole ship and where you're going, right? So we have the side hustle is putting cash into your business tank. Then we have the blue, the battery is your e-commerce store, a scalable asset power source. Hence a book like this, design your business to run itself, right? You can do that. Let's keep moving. So the hybrid power, the cash flow with cash in your tank, we call it retail arbitrage. Arbitrage just means taking advantage of price differentials in the marketplace. It exists all over the world. Uh, some will go, hark, that's unethical. Hark nothing. It's, this is how it works. You know, it, it, a commodity sells for a certain price point at one part of the world for a certain cost, and it sells for a different price at an, a different price in the world. You know, so sometimes people speak not that which they know of, and you just go, honey, you need some education. So arbitrage is taking advantage of price differential, becoming the middleman, the middleman. And how are you gonna do that? You're gonna buy products low and sell them for a profit. That's arbitrage, okay. By doing so, you're gonna learn the basics of e-commerce, check. You're gonna learn business building fundamentals. Now, what we note is those who have a business background they tend to move a little bit faster because they're business minded. That's not to say you can't succeed. My sons proved that when they did an eBay business when they were in high school, they did succeed, all right? But you have to build some business fundamentals there. You start to develop systems to get your business organized and sit all schlocky all over the place, right? You maybe develop a list of sources, your favorite stores to go to, what time of day, the, your favorite managers, blah, blah, blah. And you start to recognize valuable products and you start to see the trends. Yeah, yeah, you wanna be a deep thinker, not frou-frou right across the top. You wanna be a deep thinker. And how do you do that? You have to be observing. How about that? They changed their end cap three times this month. You might note that when you're scanning at Walmart at, or Kmart or wherever, um, Walgreens, and you go, look at how often they change the end cap. Hmm, what does this mean? Hmm, you start to think. You have to become a thinker, someone who observes and starts to put two and two together, don't you know? All right, so we have three courses that teach you about arbitrage. They are Shop Your Way to Wealth, the Book Flipping Profit System, and Online Shopping Profit System. Okay, so we have mentorship levels. So you're going, what does that mean, man? Okay, you have a training course, and a course is didactic. Do this, then do that. Now you do this, and then you do that. It's didactical information, correct? Very integral, and we have fantastic training. Then you have, like I talked about earlier, the interplay of, yeah, but, uh, hold on, but I have a question about that, the interplay. And there's nothing like the interplay because that speeds up and accelerates learning, and most importantly, implementation and subsequently scale by virtue of the interplay. Now we have that in our private group pages, but it's really at a heightened level when it's one-on-one. -on -one. Two cerebrums hooking together and they, you know, they start transferring that information. It goes much, 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 much faster because you're in a live mentorship situation. Can you raise your hand with me? You understand that? Yeah, I, I get that, Anne. I've experienced that. Hi, Ellen. Okay, good deal. And you, and you get that and you, because this is how I've advanced in business. I can assure you, training is like a tenth of what's gotten me to where I'm at, maybe even smaller. The majority of what's gotten me to where I'm at is because of direct ship. And I'm more of a social learner. So I have this segment, segment is training. By far, my advancement in business, and especially my rapid advancement in business, is due to direct mentorship. Make sense? Some people don't get that. God bless. <laughs> this is just where it's at. It's in mentorship. All right. So on that note, we have four different mentorship levels. 
Two of them are in the cash flow model that I just talked about, which is arbitrage. Really fast way to grow cash is through arbitrage, right? So we have the 30-day side hustle challenge members. They get a free ticket to our workshop. They get coaching that comes with it. And then we have the e-commerce acceleration. Time doesn't permit for me to go deep into these. And then we have the asset building model. Now that's for people who say, you know what, at the end of the day, I want to own something. I want it to be mine. I want to be able to grow this thing and feel proud of it. And, you know, heck, maybe my family is going to come in and help run this business with me. And who knows, maybe I can even sell this for a profit. Or maybe it becomes legacy for my children to have this business. You think parents don't think that way? Oh, yeah, they do. They think legacy. I want to leave my children an inheritance, which can be a business, right? So the asset building model, you go to a different level, a different level of intention. It's long term, right? And you can use the cash flow model as a foundation to stand on to spring forward into the asset building. Or you say, heck no, Anne, I'm going straight to that asset building model. I'm not hard pressed paying my bills. I want to go to the top right away. Well, we have that through the e-commerce master's program where you learn to build assets. Now, an asset means this, your car or not your car, your house. You can turn around and sell that, you hope, for a profit, right? That's all to do with market timing. It's something that you build to sell, okay? An asset is something that you can sell. You sell your gold or your whatever, okay? You can scale and automate it with an asset-based business. And the more you have it automated, guess what? The more attractive it is to buy. If it's all schlocky with no systems in place, no one's going to want to buy your mess. They're going to want to have a business that is run on systems. Not that they have to go in and clean up and straighten out. Think about franchising, shall we? That's why people buy franchises. Oh, they've done all that heavy lifting. They know when to order this and how to fry the fries, how long, etc. So when you build your business, even if you're at the cash flow model, you're going to start thinking in a system. Not, oh my gosh, I'm so desperate. I got to earn this cash. Like, no. Sure, that's part of it. But you're thinking in systems because I hope you're one of those who wants to go for the long play. You're going for the long play, not the short play. No, the short play is just a strategy that fits into your long play. I'm just going to leverage this arbitrage stuff to reach certain objectives. And once I reach those, then I'm going to go to this next level. That's playing the long play. Now, if you've never run a business before, you don't know how to think in that way necessarily. You might need a business advisor to help you map out a game plan. That's why we have our roadmap. I'll talk about that in a minute. All right, then our last one here is the e-commerce enterprise. That's where it's a done for and with you, where an expert who's sold millions is doing it with you to much better ensure your success because they've been there and done it many times over, right? So our EMP advanced trainings help you build a scalable asset power source. Okay, let's just see if any questions have rolled in. I don't see any yet. Okay, by all means, please do that because I really enjoy answering. That's my favorite part of doing what I do is I like to answer questions. Okay, so there you see a book. So if you're snappy, you're going, I'm gonna buy that book and that's super, super easy to read. Big font, super fast read. I think I read it like an hour and a half or two hours, built to sell. You know, man, if I'm gonna come into this space and that's the game plan I'm gonna play. Even if I have to go on baby steps along the way, but I'm going for that, Anne. So that's what our EMP, e-commerce master's program, is focused for folks who are going for the long play. The long play. Even if you're just starting at arbitrage, great, do arbitrage, but do it with the long play in mind, okay? All right, real quickly here, Brian Cummings. He is our amazing director of training and coaching. We're so blessed. I can see I've gone a little too long here, just like in big teaching mode today. Anyways, he has his own store called Stir Crazy Gifts. 
The goal of that store is to turn around and sell it for a million dollars. He knows exactly what he needs to do on a monthly basis for sales revenue and profit to get to a million. He knows exactly, exactly the formula. And furthermore, knows where he can sell it too. So that helps you kind of burn rubber when you know you have an objective in mind. And this is for retirement, million dollars to turn around sell for a profit. Boom, that's it. Okay, so we have this little schematic which details that we have four different mentorship levels. But really what I need to do next, and I gotta I apologize, I went off a little bit on my teaching points because I get kind of passionate about what I do. This is the back office. So make sure you take care of, take advantage of the voice of e-commerce. We've got a training session tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central. So you just pop into there and get registered for that. We have the e-commerce arbitrage trifecta workshop series coming up. Tickets actually go live this Sunday. And there are more people ready to claim their ticket than there are tickets available. So that means if you have any hope of making it to that workshop, you need to show Sunday night. So go and click that, get notified. Okay. Take advantage of our end of day tracker. We're really big on people tracking their activities because there's um, what you call a corollary between activity, business building activity, and oh, then this thing over here called results. They kind of work in tandem, right? And so you can track your actions, your activity using our end of day tracker. And then there's a tracker history to make sure you're actually doing what you said you were going to do. That's probably the biggest problem that people have when they're transitioning into the entre entrepreneurial space is they, if they've never been their boss before, it can be a big problem for a lot of people because all they know is to show up and do what so someone tells them to do. Here, you got to take ownership. That's why you've got to do some long-term planning. Where do you want to go? What are the things you want to accomplish? I go through this in new member orientation. Where do you want to be six months from now? And then you reverse engineer out of that when you set your goals. But he who aims for nothing gets nothing, right? All righty, so um, content, we have our courses and they are designated in this way. The cash flow courses, right? And then down below, you have your asset based courses. You're like, I'm going for the long play, Anne. And, and you say, well, I'm going to build up arbitrage funds. That's great. Martha is a great case study. She joined um, on Valentine's Day and she just hit the 100,000 mark with her Shop Your Way to Wealth business. 100,000 mark. Now she's bringing in her daughter-in-law. She's going to turn up the heat some more. And now she's going to come barreling down into Q4 I wouldn't be surprised if this lady hits 200 grand this year, uh, simply through the arbitrage method, simply through this, right? So anyways, asset-based, we've got the wholesale sourcing workshop, print on demand, build your own e-commerce store. Um, this is coming soon. We're gonna have uh, the traffic for driving to a print on demand store. We got Sourcing China, five-step product formula which is to help you vet products, wholesale products for Amazon, or just in general. Um, and then the Amazon product list and launch mastermind. And then these are the two high level mentorship programs, e-commerce enterprise and e-commerce master's program. That is where you have that direct interplay, the direct interplay above and beyond training. Training is great. And let's not kid ourselves. There's training all over the web all over the web and we have loads of incredible, we get the highest praises on our training, but it is more actualized when you get into direct mentorship. Okay, um, you guys, you can um, peruse through here. I have an archive of the recordings of quite a number of the workshops that have been conducted. Uh, preceding this, we just moved everything to this website two years ago. So prior to that, probably another 30, 40 different workshops that we have conducted. Um, I can't impress upon you enough what it means for your business to come to a live workshop. 
one extremely integral part above and beyond the training is the network of people that you will develop business friendships with. I'm going to be really blunt about this. You cannot make it in the 21st century and in a, in a new industry without a business network of friendships. It's the number one thing I trained on in my mentorship course 10 years ago, because your net worth is determined by your network. So if you don't like connecting with peers and all this kind of thing, I, I hate to break it to you, but it's just gonna be a tough road to hoe. And if, and if you don't see the value of a network, these people who have gone before you to have a conversation with Tim here, you can see his photo there, that's Tim, that's Dr. Josie. These are successful people. You need to be rubbing shoulders with successful people if you want to get to the next level. That's really almost the number one reason to come to our live events is because of the network. Build the friendships on the group pages, right? Speaking of which, you're gonna find those, uh, the mastermind groups are right here. Okay, just click on that right there, Facebook mastermind groups. And what else did I wanna showcase? We've got testimonials here you can go through and meet the team, which I think will be a fitting end to today's call. So let's see if there's any other questions though. Hi there, Melissa. Hi, Jane. I just saw you guys, your names there. I apologize. I would have welcomed you earlier. I had noted you. So good to have you here. Jane's giving a thumbs up. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. I really love to answer questions. So if you have any, it would mean a lot to me if you have any kind of questions at all. Um, speaking on that, see this little button here? This is the support button. Now that takes you into our customer care team. But imagine if you could come into a call, imagine this, and actually talk to the creator and founder, actually ask questions. Guess what? That's what's going on right now. This is your opportunity to ask questions. There's no question that you could put forth to me that I would feel uncomfortable with, so don't, don't even worry about that. But this is our staff and it continues to grow. We need about another three, four faces in here that have yet to be added in. But um, yeah, I don't doubt this grows to about 50 people eventually, our staff, because our curriculum and everything, our course of offerings that we cover like a true business school. Okay, well, we're at the bottom of the hour. Um, just wanna make sure, I'm gonna refresh to make sure I didn't miss Anyone's question, which by the way, if you happen to watch this in the group pages, I'm not there monitoring through all different group pages. You need to come to the e-commerce business school page. That's the best place to interact with me. So let me just see if there's any questions. Okay, I don't see any. Well, let me give you a closing thought, comment, if you will. I'm gonna challenge you guys. I think without a challenge, you don't grow. Would you guys agree with me? Some people, this is kind of the test of a good leader. Uh, and this applies to you as a, a business leader, because like it or not, if you're in e-commerce and no matter what level you're at, you're a leader because you have to lead yourself. And a real test of character of a business leader or lack thereof is their response to a challenge. You can tell by the tone when they're seeking help. Watch on the group page. Remember what I talked about earlier? Is you have to become a master of um, observing. Well, I master, or you know, I observe people behavior. And so I know the tone when someone hits a challenge. Go ahead, folks. Read through our group pages and you'll see the sifting and the sorting start to manifest itself by the attitude, the tone, right, the tone in which they approach a challenge. It's kind of one might call the great divide. Some, they'll rise up to the challenge. They accept it as a matter of fact. The challenges will happen along the way. Instead of, you see others, the great divide, a challenge rises up and what happens? You see it in our culture today. This is part of why my mission 
or this emphasizes the importance of my mission is to create more entrepreneurs. Think about it. At the end of the day, the entrepreneur has to own it. They have no one else to blame because our culture has been filled with people who point the finger every which way for when they hit a challenge in life, except to find it at themselves and say, if it is to be, it's up to me. If it is to be, it's up to me. So you know what a true leader does when they hit a challenge? It's a mindset thing. They get intrigued. And you're like, what? Why would I get intrigued about a challenge? No, I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm ready to throw a temper, whatever, right? We see this in the manifestation of our culture. And right now it's kind of a downward slope. We don't want that. That's a ruin of a culture and a civilization. Strike. We don't want that. If you're not a part of the solution, you're a part of the, how's it go? Problem. So look at yourself as a takeaway today. When you hit a challenge, you're going to, let me just be really clear. <laughs> you're going to hit a lot of challenges when you build an e-commerce business. So some might say, great, thank you so much for letting me know, Ian. I'll be on my way. See ya. And you will never grow and develop into any kind of stature because people who flinch at the slightest challenge, they're never going to make it. They're not even going to make it in this century. Because the number one attribute to survive in this century, write it down, this comes from a global economist, pausing Pilzer, is adaptability. Oh. Adaptability, you say, Anne? Adaptability. What does that mean? It means when you hit a challenge like technology, we all hit that one. Even if you're not building a business, you all face that one. So instead of run for the hills, you say, well, I'm just going to have to suck it up. I'm going to have to grow up and I'm going to have to learn to master whatever it happens to be. That's the mark of a true leader. So what does the wasteland look like if you don't have this kind of fortitude and this mental makeup? It's not a pretty sight. It's not a pretty sight. They hit a challenge. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a little exercise today. Just watch the group page. You can see the leadership attributes. I'm going to showcase a particular individual who has a, it's called an advancing personality. Claude Hopkins, he writes about this. Or no, Wallace Waddles. Wallace Waddles, um, the science of getting rich. An advancing personality. Write that term down. Do you have and advancing personality. I can spot them just like this. Spot them really, really quickly. They're not hard to spot. They're not, because they're so rare. They're so rare. An advancing personality. Roderick Sace, S-A-Y-C-E. He has an advancing personality. I read his comments as he's supporting other members. He's got it. He's got an advancing personality. Look for those people. If you feel like, darn, I don't have that makeup man, that's okay. It's that first thought of recognizing if you don't have it, that you're going to shift and change it. And the best way to do that is to identify the people who have what you want, the advancing personality. They don't run at the slightest challenge. They embrace it and they go, man, I wonder what lies behind this. Untold riches and wealth. You want to be a wealth builder? Embrace the challenges. All right. I went way too long, but I just, um, that's what's on my heart. And I just observe things. And then I share with others. Because ultimately what I want is success for people. And success isn't just by money, by the way. You're here to build a business. 
I love it when people, they, and they understand that is through growing a business. When you do it successfully, you won't come across on the other side, the same person. You're just not, you're going to be a different person. You're going to grow up more. You're going to grow up. I don't want to grow up. Great. We're not the place where I am. This is the grown up world. Being an entrepreneur is the grown up world because you got to own this thing. You got to own it. All right. Enough on that. I went kind of long. God bless. Love you guys. Um, go out and do great things. Here, I'll leave you with a great quote. Be brave and mighty forces will come to you. Be brave and mighty forces will come to you. All right. Hope you enjoyed this time together. Go ahead and write in the comments anything you learned today. Bye-bye.